Okay, first video with the new microphone. Shooting in a different video mode. Should be a noticeable upgrade. Let me know in the comments down below. On the project table today, we've got some replacement LED bulbs for the interior lights. I'm gonna do the rear cargo light here, the midship lights there, then the ones up in the front, the map lights and the dome. And then there should be enough to do the plate light as well. Okay, going for the center section here. The middle light is the same as the rear cargo light, and then those little circular ones next. Make sure they click to go back in. Sometimes you gotta rotate them 180 degrees. And there you are. There's a comparison there. A lot yellower than the halogen. So here's a better look at the little holder that's up in the little spotlights. I want to remove this black piece here. Just pry back on these little clips. I'm trying to look through the camera so it's kind of hard to do. Just hanging on by a thread. See these tabs on the side? That's all you're trying to release. Pull it back out of the housing. Pull out your little peanut ball out of the socket holder. Hold on to that as a backup. And grab your replacement LED. You want to insert that into the holder. Once you've got the bulb fully clicked in there, just insert the little socket back into the holder. Make sure the clips engage. And there we are. Okay, so I'll try and do it in real time here for you. These can be a pain. Basically, push in and turn. Oh, there we go. I think I got it on the first try, but it didn't release fully. Well, that wasn't the smoothest, but it's back in. And the center light. There we are. Nice, quick, easy $20 upgrade. I'll have to wait until the sun sets to get a proper before and after. Might as well get a shot during the daytime here. I'll wheel up on the dome light switch turns them all on except for the little directional map lights here. Just walking around the van here to see if the mic drops out at all. All right, I'm happy with how that turned out. Nighttime will be the true test obviously, but so far so good. And they must have the little CAN bus microchip in them because I didn't get a single one of them backwards so it probably doesn't matter which way you put these ones in in the early days of LEDs when you had to order them from shady people on the internet and they came in paper towel from the middle of Toronto you would go through the trouble of putting the LED in and sometimes they were so tiny 
for like the little bulbs that go in the HVAC with some cars. You'd really hope that you put it in right the first time because it's almost impossible to get the little LED back out of the socket. These ones would be okay, they're huge. But used to be a guessing game, 50% chance, how's your luck? Okay, that's a bit it for now. I'll put the before and after at the end of the video here. As always, thanks for the likes, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Just want to show a comparison here between two replacement 194 LED bulbs. You can see the size difference there. Go for the ones on the right here because these ones will not fit in the housings on the smaller map lights. If you are using this video to replace the dome lights in your Astro or Safari. Now why LEDs in the first place? Besides a more modern look, you get lower power consumption and less heat and supposedly longer life.